Hey everyone! So today I'm going to do an AliExpress haul for you. Uh, these are a few things that I purchased over a couple of months. Um, as you know, AliExpress does sometimes take a while for things to be delivered. Uh, but since I'm living here now in Japan, I've had to, I guess, get some strange items and also replace some items that I had to leave uh, in the States. So, let's just get started. So, my newest item is this camera bag. Okay. So, it's like a backpack camera bag. Um, I really like this bag because it's simple, it's minimal. Um, it has this side here so you can attach your tripod. This side has a pocket and it opens up completely around. And I got my favorite color, purple. Has two mesh pockets here so you put like your SIM cards and whatnot in there and cords. And what I really like about this bag is that these are removable so you can adjust to whatever size lens you need to put in and I usually put my um, DSLR right here and uh, two or three lenses and some of my like fun lenses like um what is it like my Diana type lens just little weird things and let's see here and it comes with a frame jacket I guess. <laughs> it's kind of weird. It looks like a shower cap. <laughs> but yeah, it's just to go over the bag, like weather protect it. And when I first got it, I actually thought it was kind of small, but it fits everything that I need perfectly. Um, it's comfortable. So I'll try it on for you. Next two items are some makeup brushes. Okay, so I was needing to replace my powder brush. I had the Real Technique Techniques, um, the Real Techniques powder brush, um, but I was just getting kind of annoyed with the shape. So I found this one, which is it's much fuller and it's super soft. And this brush looks familiar, but I don't know what it's imitating. Um, you know what? I think it was It Cosmetics made a brush look like this one. Um, if I'm wrong, let me know below. But I really do like this brush. It um, it's really soft. Yeah, I really like it. It's full because I'm I usually just wear um, powder foundation, especially during the summer, because in Japan it's so hot. I mean, I swear your foundation just melts off your face, anyways. Um, so I also wanted to try a new blush brush. I forget what this kind of brush is called, but I was just really curious about it. I, hmm, I cannot remember. Uh, I'll look it up and post it below or type it somewhere over here, over here, somewhere right there I think. Um, but I really like this for a blush brush um, because you can see, put that down, it has a nice uh, curve to it. See, it's nice and tapered and it's it's soft but not too soft. It doesn't scratch my face. And I like my blush brushes to have a little texture to it. I know that sounds weird, um, but I don't, I don't know. I think I'm a painter and I think of when I put makeup on that I want like different textures on my face. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's why I got this and I like it because I have big cheeks. And usually when I get a blush brush, um, they're a little too small, but this one, it, like, fits like my entire cheek, so just like, ooh, yay. Uh, my next item is pretty weird. So in Japan, they have a, mm, I'm just gonna say a dislike towards um, tattoos um, because of the history with the Yakuza um, gang affiliates, I guess, and how I think um, Japanese society associates tattoos with gangs and um, crime, but I think that that is slowly changing. Um, people are starting to 
uh, re rebel, I think, against that ideology, which is awesome. But for now, it's still so people are kind of anti-tattoo. So anyways, um, I joined the gym and <laughs> at my gym, no tattoos are allowed. So it's difficult for me because I'm pretty covered with tattoos. Um, so I purchased a unitard and so what this is, it's a pretty much a full body suit here. Let me see, I'm just gonna stand up. All right, so it's an entire full body suit. All right, so I am completely covered from the neck down. You cannot see anything. Um, and actually what I thought was, I thought it was gonna be kind of annoying uh, to wear this, mostly because it's, I feel discriminated against. Um, but actually working out in this unitard, I'm not sure if it's the material or something, but it actually like helps keep me cool and it wicks the sweat away from my body really well. So I found that to be actually like, I kind of feel like I should have been wearing these before, you know? Um, so I don't have to worry about like um, my yoga pants sliding down or anything like that. Um, the only thing I don't like is how close it is to the neck because it literally comes up to here and I can't stand having things over there because I'm constantly like pulling it down like that. Um, but otherwise, I think it was a, a good purchase and a, kind of a sneaky way to get around the system because you can't tell them you have tattoos when you sign up or they will cancel your membership. Just don't say anything. Just keep yourself covered when you sign up and wear a unitard and no one will know. <laughs> My next purchase! I think this is an imitation of a Stella McCartney handbag. I don't know the name of it, but, oh there's crap in here, let me take it out. <laughs> I really love this bag. It's black, <laughs> it's simple, the material is really cool. So it's this bag, it's really floppy. And I forget the name of the Stella McCartney version, but this is my little um, bunny friend. I got him in Seoul. Oh, I forgot the name of that street. Um, but you get a whole bunch of like knockoff stuff. It's really like a crazy place to shop. But he's my little, my little furry friend. Yay, because I love having furry friends. Um, but this bag, this material, I don't know what it is, but it's kind of like a, a faux leather and it's like textured. Uh, it's kind of shiny. It's, it looks really close to the original bag, um, which I think is pretty awesome. It's really well made as well. So it's just like a simple bag. You know, it's not very big. Um, the inside has like one zipper and that's it. So, yeah, so usually I just wear it on my arm like this or I'll slide it all the way up and carry it like this. So you can also wear it uh, cross body like this. And my little bunny friend's just hanging out on there. Okay. And here we go. And it comes down to, let's see, right about there. See, nice cross body. Okay. So the last item I purchased on AliExpress were actually a pair of shoes. Because in Japan, I have extremely large feet. I wear a US 10, nine, nine and a half, 10, depending on the shoe. Um, but for me, when I purchase um, high heeled shoes, I like to get a 10 because they're a little bit larger. So I went on AliExpress and I found these wedges and they're super cute. I love them. There's this like little, heart on there and this like turns into like a, a crisscross uh i don't want to hurt it okay so you wear it like kind of crisscrossed like this on your ankle but the problem is these were labeled a u.s size 10. um the measurement for on their graph said 25.5 centimeters so the shoe should have fit However, it did not. Um, I measured the insole of the shoe and it was actually like 
24.5 centimeters and that actually that extra centimeter actually does make a difference so this shoe does not ooh, is this powder I don't know this shoe does not uh, fit like a US 10 and it fits more like a US 9 so I'll have to come back to you guys about what I'm going to do about this purchase I did contact the buyer so hopefully we can straighten this out um, but I will let you know in the coming month I guess because it does take a while to settle things on Aliexpress okay but otherwise it is a really cute shoe I just wish that it was the correct size and that it fit um, but we'll see we'll see what happens all right guys so that is the end of my Aliexpress haul I want to thank all of you for stopping by and watching my video. I can see that I'm really close to a hundred subscribers. I know that may not be a big deal to some people, but it is to me. And I am really thankful for everyone that is watching my videos and keeping up with my uh, new life here in Japan. So I'm going to try and get some more content out for you. And I will see you in the next video. Okay? Bye!